because I'm proud of my last name. Cockroaches have at least six legs. They have at least 18 knees. They can hold their breath for 40 minutes underwater. A cockroach can live without its head for a full week. And they don't die of starvation, they die of thirst because they can live for a month without eating. They originated 280 million years ago and they can survive nuclear war. Woo! I love my last name. There was a time in my life where I would cry, I'd come home from school because the kids were so mean. Does anybody here have a last name that's kind of weird, like Pucky? Like, did you get hockey puck jokes? One day my dad sat down at the kitchen table with my sister and I and he told us all these cockroach facts and I kind of started liking having my last name and by the time I was in high school, it was a really cool last name to have. Roach. That was my nickname growing up. So I'm a nurse. I've worked for over 20 years in nephrology, oncology, medical research. I sat on advisory panels for the National Institutes of Health, developing best clinical practices for people who have heart failure and end-stage renal disease. I don't really identify as a marijuana activist. I'm more of a patient advocate because my interests lie in healthcare related issues. So my focus has been on rescheduling cannabis because we know it's medicine. There's clinical data that says marijuana is medicine, yet our federal government is telling us that marijuana is not medicine. Anybody here a medical marijuana patient? We all are. No, it's Roach. I'm also a patient. I have a neurological condition. It's called pseudotumor cerebri. It's pretty rare. About one in a million people have it. It causes severe headaches and blindness. I've lost a huge chunk of my vision. I trip and fall over things. But it's okay. I live with it. Marijuana helps me with my symptoms and my condition. So I don't want to regurgitate medical fact or speak to the choir, because you all know we're here to legalize marijuana, it's medicine. Freedom I want to ask you what inspires you. Freedom to imbibe. I thought long and hard about what inspires me. Immediately, when you say what inspires me, lots of things come to mind. Music, arts, people, you might have met somebody with a story that inspires you. I had to narrow it down to specifically, what inspires me to do what I do to try to get the laws changed for medical marijuana? And my parents kept coming to mind. That's why I told the story about my last name. So my parents are my greatest source of inspiration. I looked up the word inspiration in the dictionary to make sure I got it right. And inspiration is an agency, such as a person or work of art that moves the intellect or emotions or prompts action or invention. So without inspiration, we can't have any action. I grew up in a cannabis culture. My family jokingly says that reefer is our family hobby. The first time I ever knew marijuana was medicine, I was nine years old, and I called my mother last week to verify this fact. My great-grandfather had pancreatic cancer, and I remember vividly my mother, my father, my aunts, my uncles, and my grandmother sitting around the kitchen table talking about how they're going to ease my grandfather's symptoms in 1979. And my mom says, let's slip him some reefer. So they went to the hospital, and they brought him some reefer, and he felt better. So I've known all of my life that marijuana is medicine. On the other end of the spectrum, Growing up in cannabis culture, my great-grandfather spent most of the 50s in Attica for trafficking marijuana. 